hey loves welcome back to my channel so i promised you guys a travel vlog last week so here goes for those of you that have not seen that video please go check it out this vlog contains the major highlights of my travel experience to the pharmaceutical association of nigerian students 48th convention at delta state university abraka yep it was my first upgrade to abraka so like i mean i was super excited so here's my full look in case you were wondering the girls from my lodge and i you know got into the bus and we headed to where the main bus was uh as god will have it i was actually the one calling the names of you know people that paid and then after that i went ahead to make videos because obviously i was vlogging the whole experience I guess it's pretty obvious that that bubbling bus was actually my bus and then this other bus was the bus for cool kids only <laughs> this is general the goofiest person ever and you'll see him a couple more times a while later we hit the road and the journey to abraka started So this is a very popular head bridge meaning that we were already living in Anambra state. Before we knew it, we were pulled over by these people that accused us of actually hitting their goats. And we did. But it was by mistake. And I don't even know what was happening there. But I know that they delayed us for like a while and they did not want us to go. But it's their fault because why did they leave their goats to cross the road? Can you imagine? Well, after all of that, um, we were able to leave and then we continued our journey. So we made yet another stop. Gosh, I was tired at this point, but I just wanted to maintain beauty because why not? <laughs> yep, general again. Told ya. So at long last, we got to Delta State University in one piece, and I was so happy because I was already tired of the journey. When we got there, you know, we um stretched our legs. We didn't know what was going on yet. We didn't know where we we're supposed to go. But eventually, um, our president helped us out and directed us to where we we're supposed to sign in or check in so after the whole process i was given my room number and then my id card so i got my things and went upstairs one of the things that really scared me about this convention was like the whole hostel situation but i think this one was okay so they gave us food and i just decided to eat first because i was really tired i couldn't do anything at this point the food was very tasty and after eating i just put my bags inside the locker i didn't want to bring my clothes out because i don't know i just didn't feel like it i wanted to keep my things like that but i did this whole little vanity section and that was it so here i was done laying my bed it was already late and i was already tired i just wanted to sleep then i had burger for dinner i just want to talk about the food in abraka like everything i ate like was good was really good as i said i was really tired and i just wanted to sleep so i woke up pretty early the next day because i was still scared of the whole hostel situation and i just wanted to be the first person to have my bath if i'm being totally honest so i took my time and got dressed because we we're having this whole opening ceremony slash um seminar thingy so i just want to add that this was like the only day that i really vlogged because i got homesick so i really didn't attend like some other events there and i didn't really vlog much so the rest of the um videos you'll be seeing are like highlights of things i did later on so we got to the venue for this seminar and i waited my turn and it was finally my turn to use the red carpet and i took pictures i got into the hall and then i just found my way to my seat because we got there super early we had to wait a while but soon after the opening ceremony commenced <laughs> the ceremony was nice but it got tiring and i got hungry so myself and a few others bounced we went to this beautiful place that one of us recommended and we had lunch again good food guys the place was really cute and i loved the lights so yeah i had to make this video 
I decided to go with jollof and fried rice because you could never go wrong with that combo. So when we were done here, we decided to go back to the hostel to prepare for the Yama piano party which was happening at night. I hate parties guys, I'm not even going to lie, especially like because the whole idea of most parties are to just come, drink and then dance, which makes no sense to me if I'm being totally honest, so I don't really attend parties. So trust me, this is the only clip you know you're going to see of me at any party throughout this convention i didn't attend any other party because i wasn't feeling like it and the other party i tried to even attend i left so early and i was just in that one corner the whole time i attended this party out of courtesy because it was just day one so here i wanted to um go watch my girl play ball because she was playing ball i did not even know till i got to this convention so yeah um we went to the field together and they delayed us for quite a while I don't know what happened but people were supposed to play with weren't ready or something very funny so we eventually played at night and then these people these people actually cheated and that would be a story for another day but not today one of the days i was feeling really homesick sunshine dragged me out to have lunch thereafter we went to watch match where our boys won Then we stopped by to get um parfait very quickly before we went back to our hostel for her to prepare for the next party because i wasn't going <laughs> so the next thing i attended was what was supposed to be a beach hangout at makati beach but as god will have it this place was not a beach and i was very lost as to why they called this a beach probably because of this water here but i had a good time i can't even lie and i just did like the safe stuff i mean this whole boat cruise was not really safe <laughs> but this was like the only risky thing i actually did i only went for the safe stops i'm very scared of heights so i would never ever go on a merry-go-ride ever again i'll never even do anything that's taking me up or throwing me anywhere that i don't want to be because it was a strange land and i wasn't going to risk my life a big <laughs> Later that night, we had the dinner and awards night, which was so much fun. I love the fact that like there were activities, you understand? The MC really MC'd Juget and it wasn't like a boring experience. Me and my girl came correct as per usual and even if we were not able to take like a couple of pictures because the lighting sucked, we were still good. I mean, these videos did justice. So for the pageantry, they had this little choreography and people are representatives at the middle, like doing the Lord's work. <laughs> yeah. I almost lost my voice from screaming, I kid you not. After this, our guys went up to receive their award. <laughs> we had to leave the event before it ended because we were traveling the next day. And yes, guess what? For the pageantry, we won under the female category. And then for the male category, we took second position. And that's the whole of my convention experience. Thanks for watching.